Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the Hornet. We're doing a very simple tutorial on how to use the ADM-141A TALD decoys. They're very simple munitions. We can have them on stations 2, 3, 7 and 8. On each station you can have 1, 2 or 3 with of course a maximum of 12. They are the non-powered variant of the TALD. We fire them and they glide on that fired course for as long as they can. Through some electronic sorcery they enhance their radar cross-section as seen by hostile radars. So they look to a radar like an aircraft and that radar if attached to a SAM has no real choice but to fire at them. They are obligated to fire at them. So they're used to distract and or drain SAM sites and can even distract aircraft as well. In terms of their range, because they are glide weapons, they're not powered, it all depends on the speed and altitude of the aircraft at the time of launch. If we drop them low down and slow, they'll only go a few miles. If we drop them 40,000 feet supersonic, they'll go about 70 miles, which is pretty impressive for a glide weapon. Our scenario today is super simple. We have an S300 SA-10 site. It has one, two, three, four, five, six launchers. Each launcher has four missiles, a total of 24 missiles. We have two Hornets, myself and Wombat. Hello, Wombat. Hello. We can mix and match munitions, but today I am just going to be the decoy guy. I'm going to have 12 decoys. I'm going to fire them at the S300 from long range and try and waste as many of the SAMs as we can. Behind those decoys will be Wombat, and of course he's got four anti-radiation harm missiles. So I'm at 40,000 feet, pretty much optimal firing altitude. I want to get supersonic if possible, which can be hard with this many uh, munitions. Right, so switchology, master arm on, air to ground mode. It's going to put us through to our stores page. If it doesn't, then go stores page from main menu. Select the weapon. It's The syntax currently is 82P. You can see it's selected that station there and we can change which station we drop from first. We have a reticle on the screen, but it doesn't really relate to anything. Like I said, when we drop the munition, it will just glide straight and forward. It will not guide in any way. To be effective, we really need to know our distance from the target. And so we've set a waypoint at the target. So I'm going to go down to our HSI, select waypoint one, waypoint designate. We can now see we are 80 miles from the target. Simple as that. We are going to fire at roughly the maximum range of the SAM, which is about 65 nautical miles. To release the weapon, obviously it's weapon release button and don't spam them too quickly because if they fly next to each other, one SAM can take out multiple TALDs. 66 miles, I think that'll just about do us. I'm going to start pulsing now. About one second between pulses should be good. Now they're unpowered. There was a powered version of the towel, but this is the unpowered version. Um, so they will slow down as you can see. So one back if you can make sure you stay behind the decoys, please. Although they're physically small viewers to a radar, they look the same size as us or maybe even bigger. As my legal stipulation is taken care of, viewers, I'm now going to get the chuff out of here. Split test was probably a bad choice, viewers, because I could actually smash myself into my own uh, towels when I think about it. They will uh, glide at what they consider their most efficient glide path, viewers. Uh, that will get them fairly slow. They'll get down to an optimal glide ratio speed. Just got to wait for the boom boom. Now, there's only 12 towels out there, so how many SAMs will they waste? Well, that depends on their firing doctrine, obviously. Finally, missiles are fired at 33 miles. Now, you could argue that the S300 in real life would be protected by Shaw Rad viewers, and of course it would, but just to make a simple video. So we're in the strange position where it's an aircraft that's designed to be shot down. Two towel, three towels down. Four, five, five remaining. Four remaining. And that is all the towels down. Right, let's go and see how many it drained. Fully drained. Fully drained, fully drained, fully drained, fully drained. It wasted 24 missiles shooting those towers down, which is pretty efficient, uh, inefficient. I guess it was double firing, which means it's now open season. Fire some harms, Wombat. Magnum. 
that one's out on the big bird. The site will rearm viewers, but it will take about half an hour, so it's out for the uh, duration of the battle. In real life, at this point, obviously, it would turn its radar off. It's a bit stupid that it keeps its radar on, but you know what? It makes it nice and easy for us, so we will take that. Winchester and I uh, egress and out. And that's a smash. Yo. Boom, boom. Thank you, Mr. Seedman. Hey. Um, super simple concept, viewers, but good fun. Um, yeah, and really surprisingly useful. I hope you enjoyed that, and see you later.